Sing praise to God. Look not to earthly rulers. Sing praise to God. Trust not to human might. Sing praise to God. Our help and our salvation. Sing praise to God. Our hope and love is Sing praise to God. Who wrote the earth and heavens? Sing praise to God, who formed a boundless sea. Sing praise to God, who promises are faithful. Sing praise to God, who sets the prisoner free. Sing praise to God, who is impressed from justice. Sing praise to God who gives the hungry food. Sing praise to God who heals road inflictions. Sing praise to God who grants us every good. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Over the next three Sundays, we will hear stories of Jesus healing the sick and afflicted. He is just beginning his public ministry, but his teaching is new and different. It is authoritative. Are we listening to his message? My brothers and sisters, let us knowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you thought with authority, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you deliver us from all evil. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the Father's love. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Alone, 
are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God, Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And I want to invite the children and the catechists, uh, asking God a special blessing for them, for this uh, moment of growing in the faith. Okay, come. We come here. Okay, we will ask from God a special blessing for you and a special blessing for your heart, open your heart to hear the word of God and always asking God to increase the faith in your life. We ask from God this special blessing for you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb. On the day of the assembly, when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see his great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise you up for them a prophet, like you, from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is number 66, 66 in the hymnal. If today you hear God's voice, Harden not your hearts. If today 
you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. If today Come ring out with sing joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come now before our God. With songs let us hail the Lord. If today you hear God's voice, pardon us. kneel before God who made us for here is our God we the people the flock that is led by God's hand if today you hear God's voice pardon not your hearts if today When your parents put me to the test, if today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear God's voice, harden not. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, brothers and sisters. I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint on you, but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord.
Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus Christ. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the, the unclean spirits and they obey him, his fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Before to share with you something, a little bit about uh, today's Gospel, I want to introduce my brother, my father, my, my superior, my brother in community, Father Egmer, he is from Guatemala. He is one of the members of the General Council in my community, the Missionary Fraternity of Mary. And he is coming to visit uh, the presence of our community here in the United States. We have eight priests in two places, Milwaukee and San Bernardino, California, and he is coming to visit us these days. Welcome, Father, to join us in this moment. Um, a few words, a few words, uh, uh, some, uh, and something about uh, the the gospel, the today's gospel. And today's gospel is talking ab about the authority of Jesus. And I like al always to talk about this text because I result, I remark three important points to understand the authority of Jesus. The first point, the authority of Jesus is he has authority because he uh, fights against the evil one. This is the first thing we discover his authority. He, ha he is not afraid to fight to the evil one. And we see today in this gospel, he is uh, in front of the evil uh, with authority asking this spirit unclean to go out from this man. The second thing with the authority of Jesus is to see him, how he puts in the center of his ministry the human being. We see today in the synagogue, the most important thing in the synagogue is to be gathered everybody and to talk about the word of God. This is the center, the word of God in the synagogue. But now it's Jesus in the center and with this relation with this man who wants to be free from this unclean spirit the center of his ministry his authority puts the human being in the center and the third thing his authority is we can say the authority of jesus comes because always his words are 
accompanied with actions, with facts. We are invited today to live with authority in our life. What means it is not to have the power, is to see that to, to do the same thing that Jesus did against the evil, to put in the center the human being. And the third thing is to accompany all our words with actions. We ask from God this special grace to live the good news in our life. And today I, invite, I want to invite you to see, to watch the video from the Archdiocese inviting us to, uh, to join uh, the, the challenges that the Archdiocese has. And I invite you to watch this video. Hello everyone, my name is Doug Kant. I'm here today with my wife Ellen and our children as a Holy Family Catholic Community Chairpersons of the 2018 Archdiocese of Milwaukee Catholic Stewardship Appeal. The Catholic Stewardship Appeal, the annual campaign to support ministries and programs throughout the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, officially launches this month. Each year, the appeal affords Catholics a unique opportunity by means of a single gift to help sustain a broad range of archdiocesan ministries and programs that significantly impact people's lives. As a member of the Pastoral Council and the Stewardship Commission of our parish, I am proud to report that Holy Family Catholic Community has always contributed generously to this appeal year after year. Once again, we ask for your support. Now please sit back and enjoy this year's powerful message from Archbishop Lestecki, and thank you in advance for your generosity and prayerful support of this year's Archdiocese of Milwaukee Catholic Stewardship Appeal. Every day in the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, thousands of Catholics decide to lead, to give of themselves to support the work and mission of the church. Pastors, staff, and volunteers are formed in the faith and trained in vital aspects of their unique roles to serve over a half a million Catholics each year. You and I and thousands of others also make a leadership decision each year when we decide to support the Catholic Stewardship Appeal. I invite you to join me in hearing from those we empower through our stewardship. The Newman Center has been part of my college experience ever since the very first day. For example, I'm part of a men's group called Prasadi. All of us are leaders in the sense of we bring each other closer to our faith and give each other advice and we pray for each other and we make each other better Catholic men. Something that I learned early in my college years was that if you don't practice your faith during college, you lose it. Would you really like to lose your faith throughout your college years or would you like to make it stronger, to develop it, to make it known to others and inspire others to become Catholics as well? Through Catholic Campus Ministry, Theology on Tap, and Brew City Catholic Ministry, we form growing numbers of young adults in their faith and equip them to confidently share their faith with others. Decide to lead by supporting these programs and nurturing vocations among these promising young adults. I met Lisa from Catholic Charities when I was going through a hard time. I was leaving my husband at the time who was abusive. I had my three children with me and the place that we were living at the time was a lot of money, especially for just my income alone. She enrolled in our rental assistance program and she was a really great self-motivated client. Catholic Charities does a lot to help, especially if you think that there's nowhere else to go. Lisa will definitely find you better ways to get out of the hole you may be in. She's a motivator, which I think leaders need to be. She makes me want to be a better person. Catholic Charities case managers and social workers serve people of all faiths. 
Last year alone, these compassionate and capable leaders served over 43,000 people in crisis who had nowhere else to turn. Each year, we empower these life-changing programs when we decide to lead by supporting the Catholic Stewardship Appeal. I will be ordained a priest, God willing, on May 19, 2018. I've wanted to be a priest since I was in first grade. And then I had to say yes again when I decided to do formal discernment with retreats and whether to enter seminary. And when ordination day comes, that will be another yes to the priesthood. And beyond that, really, when a priest wakes up every morning, he says yes to God every day. A lot of people have asked me over the years, well, what can I do? How can I support a priest? And first and foremost is prayer. This is a world that needs Christ more than ever. And by the financial and prayerful support of the seminary, you are allowing myself and my brother seminarians to be truly formed in the image of Jesus Christ to be your priests. Through the appeals support of St. Francis de Sales Seminary, we form young men to become future priests and leaders of our parishes. Decide to lead and lend your support to those who will one day lead our parish communities. Siena Catholic Schools of Racine is a brand new Catholic education system bringing our five elementary Catholic schools together along with St. Catherine Middle School and High School to create a collaborative new school system. The system is supported by 10 area parishes and the Racine Dominican Sisters. We're able to reimagine, reshape, and create a new generation of Catholic education and a new generation of Catholic leaders. I was actually part of the selection team for the president when uh, halfway through the process, the chair of the committee said, Brenda, I think you should apply. And I had to take a step back and say, who me? And then realize, why not me? Why not me to serve and to lead? We pass on our faith through our Catholic schools and our Christian formation programs. Decide to lead and help us provide the resources and expertise to nurture our children academically, socially, and spiritually. At church, I am involved in the Human Concern Committee, the Food Pantry, and I also serve on the Parish Council. I do the RCIA for the month and as a coordinator to, for the youth. To me, leading is, is more like serving others. We both participate in conference, in training, workshops, whenever the archdiocese are put together. In order to lead, we, we need to understand how it works. We want the church to grow. When we give to the church, we are giving to ourselves. The Archdiocesan Office for Planning and Councils provides strategic guidance, leadership training, consulting services, and many other resources to assist pastors, parish directors, councils, and commissions as they work to strengthen their parishes. We thank those who guide our parishes in these roles, and we join in supporting them as we decide to lead through our gift to the appeal. We give to the Catholic Stewardship Appeal because of all the things that it does for the Catholic community in southeastern Wisconsin. It supports the Catholic schools, it supports families that are in need and in distress, it supports priestly formation uh, through the seminary, and it supports our parishes. It's going that extra mile. It's, um, again, doing a little bit more because we know there's such a need. Coming out of our comfort zone. It's time to step up. We're all leaders. I decided to lead. I decided to lead. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. So am I. You are a leader too when you decide to make a difference through the Catholic Stewardship Appeal. Remember, no gift is too small. Every gift counts. Join me in giving as generously as you can to this year's Catholic Stewardship Appeal. Decide to lead. 
Thank you, and God bless you. We have listened to the words of God's Son, our Lord and Teacher. Let us turn to God now as we ask for the needs we see in our world. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For bishops, priests, preachers, teachers, those who proclaim God's work to us, that they may be inspired to speak boldly and always proclaim the truth, let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in political office and significant positions in business and society, that they may understand clearly the responsibility to build God's kingdom by living lives of integrity that are examples to all, let us pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For parents, grandparents, and those who lead families, that their efforts to raise children to walk in the way of Christ may be blessed and supported by others, let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For young men and women, that many may courageously consider a vocation to serve in the ordained or consecrated life, let us pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. In gratitude for Father Max and for his service to Holy Family, and that he be guided by the Holy Spirit in his new assignment, let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died this week, Monica Schmitz, Barbara Kaler, Lawrence Coleman, Rainer Beestel, Maureen Mo Haynes, and the mother of departed and deeply missed Father Vic Capriolo, Julia Capriolo, and especially for those who rem are remembered at this Mass, Marge Fitcroft. And all, our, and all our own personal petitions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal Father, all life and authority has its source in you, and every good gift comes from you. Graciously hear and answer our prayers for these gifts. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our preparation hymn is number 735, 735.
Blessed are they who show mercy, mercy shall be theirs. Blessed are they, the pure of heart, they shall see God. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you. Are you rejoice and be glad? Yours is the kingdom of Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of life. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like that of all so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have some announcements. Um, the first, are you spiritually stalled and need God to fill your sails? Holy Family welcomes the speaker, Dr. Marianne Freund, as she presents a morning of reflection and prayer on Saturday, February 3rd, and Holy Family Mass at 9 a.m. with a light breakfast and a speaker to follow in Holy Family Hall. To register, call Irene Co. at the parish office, see the bulletin or website for more information. The second announcement, Father Max, Max Forwell, Mass will take place this coming Wednesday, January 31st and at uh, 6 p.m. at Holy Family Church. Our reception will follow in Holy Family Hall. All are invited to attend. <coughs> and I have here the certificates of baptism for uh, Chase Andrew. Okay, it's here. God bless you. And the certificate for Fen David. Okay, good. And for Maxwell Kenneth. Okay, it's good. God bless you. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now we ask the intercession, the intercession of uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary. We say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed is from among women, women. And, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our, our death. death. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks. Have a nice weekend. Our closing song is number 744. As a fire is meant for burning with a bright and warming flame, so the church is meant for mission, giving glory to God's name. As we witness to the gospel, we would build a bridge of care, joining hands across the nations finding neighbors everywhere we 
are learners, we are teachers, we are pilgrims on the way. We are seekers, we are givers, we are vessels made of clay. By our gentle, loving actions, we would show that Christ is light in a humble listening spirit we would live to God's delight